So if you ask anybody about memory wire, you tell them about memory wire bracelets, they're gonna imagine something which is a wrap around bracelet, two, three, four, even more times wrapped around, perhaps with a little bit of charm at the end, but it, it's, that's what basically, what people like to do with memory wire. I like to take it a little bit further. I love that it holds its shape, hence the name memory wire. It's, a it's made of steel and they bend it around like a tubular shape over and over again, creating like a coil. It comes in many, many loops all together and then you need to cut it to the size you want to. They are perfect for something like this, like a bangle style, although I joined it with a clasp at the bottom here just to be like extra secure and it's great to use them with bracelet bars or anything any other um, connectors or anything else what you have at home I think they are make this way you can make a little bit more stylish bracelet with memory wire and it will look really great when you put it on so let me just put it on for you it looks more than just like a single memory wire bracelet. So how to make it, you have to cut a couple of um, length of memory wire. Now I like to cut it just a little bit longer what I need, so I got something nice to work with. So I usually cut it going all the way around and add like a quarter or a third to it and then cut it. So I got two of two of these. I'm gonna make a two row memory wire bracelet here. And now the bracelet bars, they come in many different sizes and shapes. Some of them got loops going that way with a little crystal in it. Some of them, this one is a Two row one, it's got two loops on both sides. It will like stand out on your wire. This one is a two loop one as well. They just add a little bit of decoration to your bracelet. Or there is these ones, but I'm just gonna use in the video. These are actually a um, three loop ones, but I'm only gonna use that loop, the two side loops, I guess, to give me a double memory wire bracelet. The process is really, really easy to make it. If you know your size and it's, this is not the first one you're making, you can go ahead and curl the end on one end on both of the memory wires and add your bracelets. You would construct it from here, coming all the way up and to the other side. If you're not sure of your design, a good point to start is in the middle, which is where I like to start as well, because I'm never quite sure how many beads or what how I want to add them to it. So I've got my couple of wire of memory, couple of pieces of memory wire here. I'm gonna add the bracelet bar because I want the bracelet bar right in the middle. So I'm gonna add it to both wires and just let it to go down into the middle. So that is gonna sit there. Now, because I'm working on the middle, I'm gonna to have to add a bead, beads to either side as I go along until I get to the length I desire. Now, the beads you can use with it is, um, you only need a minimal amount of beads of each size. I like to use mixtures because it just gives you the little bit more expensive look, a little bit more like, you know, use a lot of different size of beads. It just makes, makes it look like really good. So I just got a mix of crystals here. I'm just gonna put some out. I also got some four millimeter metal beads, which I'm gonna be using. And then I got my pearls here. Now, again, using a mixture, I the, the colors here, sort of the both monochrome -ish, like grayish, blackish colors. So I do keep them so they go together, but you could do rainbow finishes. It's entirely, it's up to you what colors you put together. So I'm gonna start adding beads to either side. Usually there's like a little bit of a lip where your bracelet bar is. So it's a good idea to add a couple of smaller beads first. I'm just gonna add a couple of smaller crystals. Don't forget as you're working in both sides, you're gonna need four crystals of the same to mirror your design. So I'm gonna add two here, just some small crystals. One, two, let them go down. And I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna add two to the other side. One, two, let them go down. So if I turn it up, 
and I pushed them together you can see they will be just sitting right next to the bar so I've got my smaller beads there now I want to add a couple of larger beads in my design so I'm gonna because I added crystals here I'm gonna add pearls next so I think I'm gonna add actually I'm gonna add two four of the larger ones just to see what happens the good thing about this, if you're starting like this, there is nothing fixed. You can always take your beads off and if you think they're too large or too small, you can always change them as you go along. Again, turn it around and add the two on this side as well. And again, I'm gonna turn it up and see what they look like yeah i'm happy with that so i'm actually going to mirror what i have there so i'm going to add another couple of small crystals one two don't forget you need four of everything so i'm going to add two here two. now you can work with different size of bars as well so you can have a bigger one in the middle and then smaller ones as you're going to the side and the back of your bracelet. Now I could add another bracelet bar here or I could add some smaller pearls. It's inside us up to you what design you want to do. I think I'm going to do a couple of smaller pearls here and then add another bracelet bar and add a couple of bracelet bars further along. Right, so do the ends, what you need to do. I have added enough here, enough beads here going all the way around. Now don't forget that your clasp is gonna add extra length to your bracelet. Ease memory wise, it will hold its shape, but you can gently actually shape this bracelet. I will show you that how to do that later on. So what I'm gonna do, do here to do the ends, you need a couple of pair of pliers. First, you need a flat or chain nose pliers. Hold it the one end of your wire about um, half an inch or a centimeter from the end. And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna flip it up. That's all you need to do. You need to do this on both sides. One, two. And we're gonna turn these into loops but first we're gonna go to the other side because now here the beads can't fall off anymore they're gonna once we pull them up they're gonna be there nice and secure One. actually i'm just gonna no, that's fine just put it up so all your beads are against there now you're gonna repeat the same on the other side. You're gonna turn this up to a 90 degree bend. Well, sort of a 90 degree. You don't have to go all the way 90, just as long as they're nice and snug against your beads. I'm gonna cut this wire down because you only need probably about a centimeter or even a little bit less wire there to work with to make your loop side and all you're going to be doing taking your round nose plier holding the end of your wire just like that make sure there's nothing once you insert your round nose plier there's nothing sticking out make sure this is nice and flush and just curl it back over that's it that's all we're creating a little loop you're going to do this on both wires so now your bead's gonna be secure on there, they can't come off anymore. Then you're gonna go back to the other side. I'm just gonna trim this a little bit more. So then you're just gonna go ahead and just trim it a little bit and go ahead and curl this one back as well. So virtually what you have here is four ends with a little curl on them and we're going to connect all this up with a couple of jump rings and a lobster clasp so to do the jump rings you need a couple of pliers i like to use a flat nose and a chain nose or 
couple of chain noses, but not. I don't like to open and close the jump rings with my round nose pliers. So as you can see, the jump ring is got like a little cut right at the top. It's a circular shape. You never pull it apart. You always want to twist it apart. So I'm going to twist one towards me, the other one away. And simply what we're going to do is put both of those little rings we created both of those loops we created through the jump rings so when when you're closing the jump ring and bring it up a little bit more you're just going to go past the little mid bay just a tiny bit as you can see and then it will spring shut now on one side you only need to add a jump ring on the other side we're going to add a jump ring and lobster clasp at the same time so again i'm twisting it apart i'm going to put both of these loops through the jump ring with both of the loops through the jump ring i'm gonna hold it with my pliers before closing in i'm gonna add my lobster clasp the only thing you have to be careful here is the direction how you add it because you want you want the lobster cups to close onto the other loop and again i'm just gonna close this ring in just like that and our bracelet is ready. Now you can use many different bracelet bars or, or any connectors, anything you have at home, and that's it. Now, as I said, memory wire is will hold its shape, but you can shape it to a certain extent. So you can very gently sort of maneuver it a little bit out if you want it in to be a different shape and a little bit in towards at the end of it so if you don't want it more circular you want it more oval but do this very very gently loads of little pushes and pulls rather than one big one and that's it your bracelet is ready i hope you enjoyed the video and i see you soon Check out the other videos on this playlist to learn more techniques just like this.